I believe the greatest advancement in technology that's going to help the consumer experience will continue to be the evolution of addressable television. I also believe that over the top and IP based targeting will allow for brands to have a more interactive creative for consumers as well. Uh, location based technology um, uh, within the retail environment you know, understanding what products people are looking at in store um, and being able to interact with, with people in the aisle. The other thing that I think is interesting here at CES is applications of the Amazon Echo and Google Home to connect various parts of the home experience. What I think is going to happen is that these tools will become the operating system for the connected home, which will connect your television experience to your tablet experience, um, to audio, to all the functions of your home. One would be dynamic creative or um, the drive of the industry to marry data and creativity together to create more relevant consumer experiences is certainly one. I think the second is this notion of machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's the ability to drive through data um, that's known about a particular user in an anonymous way, better consumer life cycle, better consumer journey. It's strange. The one that I think that um, will change it most is the one that we have. It's a cell phone. You know, when you think about how much we continue to do on our mobile device, whether it be shopping, whether it be watching television, it's completely changed the way that we live. And I also think what you see with uh, the new Echo or Dot, you know, when you think about voice recognition and the way that we use that, whether it be through search or whether it be the way that we shop, but it changes the way that I think we're going to truly make technology intelligent. Um, and that, that journey will continue. The kinds of technologies that I think will transform uh, the way consumers engage are uh, technologies that can leverage the vast amounts of data that are out there and create really personal experiences for them whether it's with media or advertising, just really make it individual and personalized. Old fashioned reach and frequency is really um, a challenge because sometimes with um, precision targeting data, the match rate can be very low and so even though it's very effective targeting at the micro level, it's not enough volume, it's not enough reach to really move the needle. And for a brand, the challenge is, is how do I keep up? I can't be everywhere, so if there's an infinite amount of supply, how do I understand where the customers are going to be? You know, it's not necessarily where they've been, but it's where they're going to be. And how can I target them? How do I unify my data? We have so much data that's coming at us from the consumer experience, whether it's first party data that our clients have or third party data that's available in the market. The data is very hard to use and apply unless it's unified and applied to one singular ID. And so brands need to understand the effectiveness of data, so what data is valuable to them, and then how do they use that data across all the different devices. Today things are still very siloed, but the technology continues to advance for brands to be able to take a single data source and apply it across all the channels that consumers are consuming content on. Um, best of breed technologies are sort of different depending on the vertical that you're looking at. So if you're looking at technologies that are really good in the addressable TV space, those are different than the technologies that are really strong in the display space, which are different than uh, potentially ones in the um, in the social space or the video space. And so the bringing together of those technologies as sort of system integration um, is complex. It's difficult and there's very few companies that can do that well. You know, so much of the targeting that we've been doing to date is around you know, cookie-based targeting uh, around purchase behaviors. I think the very near future might see us uh, using artificial intelligence to target consumers based on psychological profiles, um, emotional, you know, real-time emotional profiles, um, things that traditional cookie-based targeting can't do. I think the biggest thing you're going to see is the consumer wants it easy, they want it fast, and they want to be able to buy things the way that they feel comfortable with. 
that can be different across a variety of, so I think we'll see a completely change in terms of what the cycle's been, whether dealerships go away in auto, or maybe we keep a dealership, but the way that people engage with the actual brands is gonna change. What we're going to get to is actually an experience where literally every advertising experience is a retail experience. It's an opportunity to see content or see advertising and immediately act on that in terms of your ability to purchase goods. The instantaneous opportunity for brands to be able to put their ads or their, man their products in front of consumers and consumers to take action immediately, whether they be in store or online, is really what consumers want. So it's an easier capability of buying. Also the bridging of online and offline activity is, is interesting because the consumer journey in and of itself is shortening significantly because people are able to access information on particular products much more quickly than they have historically, which means I can do a search online and either choose to purchase it or then go into a store um, look at it and then price comparison shop and all that sort of stuff that we all do uh, as consumers. Um, but I think that there's a huge opportunity because there's, uh, there's a lot more that we can do in the space uh, to make the consumer journey more seamless uh, and also more data driven. Yeah.